Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we got this 2014 Chevy Express right behind me. So the issue with the Chevy Express van, customer was stating that they bought it from the auction block and they got it really cheap because this was deemed unfixable right here. So the issue with this vehicle is that it has some ABS problems and on top of that, some engine issues. So how about in today's video, we try to figure out these problems and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, so some of the problems that this vehicle had and the customer was stating is that, first of all, the ABS module is not communicating at all. Another issue that they're having is when they're driving, they notice that the transmission starts to shift hard, like it loses communication and goes into limp mode. And then some other issues with the engine as well. So today what we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using this Top Down Phoenix Max. I actually really wanted to get this tool because I saw Mario for Super Mario Diagnostics, Scanner Danner have it, and Diagnose Dan. So I was like, you know what? Let me get my hands on one of these and let's try it out. So first of all, let's hook this up and let's see what we get. All right, so let's get into the scan tool. So this is my first time really filming with this Top Dawn Phoenix Max. So let's scan this vehicle, Chevrolet. All right, it has a vehicle right there. So let's go to system scan. And right here, this is basically gonna see which system is online. As you can see, it has the ECM, TCM, but the ABS module, EBCM, is not talking. Especially that's one of the things that they're talking about. I'm not sure if this is gonna have any codes because they did have it here for a while and the battery was low. I did have to jump start it so we can kind of see if we have any codes in the ECM by any chance. So these are some of the codes right here. Look, lost communication with TCM, lost communication with the electronic brake control module, throttle position, implausible. I think they're talking about these because there would be a code right there that showed engine reduced power as is actually showing it right now. Look at that engine reduced power. They actually brought me an ABS module and they're kind of worried about this. But if we try to talk to this ABS module, we see it does not communicate. All right, um, first and foremost, what I like to do, remember you always want to question your customer, but the thing is that they just bought this from an auction and they don't know too much about it. And the thing is that this went to other shops around this area and uh, they couldn't figure it out. So what we know right here is that first, we have a uh, reduced engine, transmission doesn't shift right, and the ABS module is bad. That's pretty much what we have right here. I wanna look at the wiring diagram and then go from there and see what we can find out. So let's jump into the wiring diagram, see what we can find out, and hopefully we can try to figure out this issue. All right, so we're on Mitchell right here, so we're gonna be looking at these computer data lines. So if we look right here, we have our body control module, we have our ABS, electronic brake control module or transmission control module. So we have two different ones. There's a six speed and four speed. Uh, ours is gonna be the four speed. Here's our engine control module. If we can go from here, we can see that this has a junction that goes to here and then it moves on to this, which goes to the next page, two and three. And then this two and three goes over here to our body control module and then it comes out and then we have a couple options and on this one if i'm not mistaken is without vehicle communication so we gotta go two and then it goes down to our abs module our electronic brake control module so it goes down and then from here we are except 6.6 .6 because this is a 4.3 except 5.3 comes down and because this is a 4.3, it goes into our TCM, so it ends off right here. All right, so what we know about this is we have communication to our TCM, we have communication to our BCM, but we don't have communication to our ECM. We can see that this is, I like to call it daisy chain, so we have communication coming in and coming out, and then coming in and coming out. So that's the way that we have this. But why is it that this is not talking? That's the question that we have to answer. 
So let's go back to the vehicle and let's try to figure this out, man. At least we know that we have some modules that are talking, but this one is not. And can and can this also be causing the other problems with the ECM and the and the transmission control module? That's what we need to figure out. So let's go back to the vehicle. Let's see what we figure out. All right, like I explained in the wiring diagram, this is kind of daisy chained. So what we have, remember on there what we we're talking about, we have this tandem black and then right here kind of branches out and so on. So what we have right here, it goes into the body control module and then moves on to the ABS. And then from the ABS, it moves down. Thing is right here, this is daisy chained and it goes down to the transmission control module. So we have communication from the body to the transmission control module, but not to the ABS. So is our problem gonna be right here? Shouldn't be because we have in and out. So like I said, coming from the uh, body control module and then is going out to the TCM and we and it says that we have communication with the TCM, but we don't have communication with the ABS module. The only other thing I can see right here is this data communication enable. And that data communication enable, if you move it all the way over here, it goes to the BCM, the body control module. So what we can do is verify what signal is sending out from the BCM going to ABS module right here. So we have pin 19, x3 so what we can do is click on here zoom in so we have x3 and it'll tell us where our component uh, the connector is at so at least we know this is going to be a light blue connector and then we're going to check this out we're going to see what we have on 19 and then see if it makes it all the way to our enable run right here and as well we're just going to i'm going to go ahead and test this out as well uh, we're going to make sure that we have cans in cans out I'm pretty sure that's going on because, like I said, we can talk to our transmission and our uh, BCM. And just to verify that, so we have our transmission control module. As you can see, we are communicating, and then we got our BCM. And let me just show you something right here. And this will kill our theory right here, so we don't, we don't technically have to test it out. I can just disconnect ABS module and see what happens. All right, here's our ABS module, as you can see, it's been messed around with. Let's disconnect this. All right, we're disconnected. And it was, we can see there's no uh, rust or anything, nothing that we see that's bad. Let's check our TCM, because that's the last part of our daisy chain. <laughs> Look, no communication. So we know that we have good communication coming into the ABS module and good communication coming out it's just our ABS module is not talking. <laughs> and I almost forgot. Let's check our powers and grounds. That's really important. And the good thing is, on this one, we have our powers and grounds right here. So now let's just check our powers and grounds, make sure that this is actually turning on. All right, big ups to Jarhead Diagnostics. I bought this right here at a trade show. And you know I like load testing stuff. And when I saw this, I needed it. And, you know, the one I have, it doesn't have a cover for uh, the light. I made sure that this is good. If it falls, nothing's going to break. We have our test leads from AES Wave right here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to go, and this is pretty much one side is uh, power. As you can see, bam and bam, red and red. And the other side is black, black and black. So if we put one in here. And make sure that your key is on the on position and look nice and bright nice and bright right here and then we're gonna move this down over here bam so we are we do have powers and grounds and another thing is that we do have another abs module that they bought and uh, they want me to program it but i don't have communication once we can figure that out we can program it because they can't return it but now next uh, next thing that we have to do is check out the communication line and if i'm not mistaken is a light blue one that's a light blue and i remember it was next to a red one what i want to do next is go to our bcm find that x3 connector 19 pin 19 see what we get out of there and then after that, we can come right here and see what we find out. So let's go inside the vehicle and see what we get. All right, so we have our oscilloscope here. We have our BCM there. 
and we have our wiring diagram right here so if we go look at our wiring diagram remember our connector is going to be x3 so our pin is going to be 19 that's going to be all the way in the bottom this x3 is going to be light blue one two three that's the third one x3 light blue bottom one is going to be our light blue all right now we want to see what we have right here so we got to check out our scope and to get to our scope we go to oscilloscope cool now let's hook this up to our ground and what are we going to get here it goes let's put this in all right are we generating the signal no that's just kind of a little bit wobbly so we're getting just battery voltage all right cool that's pretty much it let's cycle our key nothing but battery voltage so that's what we want to see on our abs module right there and hopefully so that's our wake up signal line it's just a, it's basically battery voltage so let's go to the bottom of the vehicle and let's see what we find out once we hook this up all right so we're underneath the vehicle right now and uh we have our lines disconnected right here and all i want to do is just see what happens so we're gonna hook into our light blue wire and i am back probed in there and there's no difference at all i want to give this a shot um this is only sending 12 volts it's not sending the signal wire so how about we get our battery voltage let's get a jumper and go to the from the battery to the front and see what happens and let's hook this up and let's see if we just have any communication because there's only 12 volts and we are back probing right here so let's get a jumper wire and let's see what we get all right so we're going to be using this 10 foot retractable test lead i will put a link down below if you want one of these this is one of my favorite tools i actually have two this is the non-magnetic one the magnetic one is pretty cool so what we're going to do we're going to find a power lead and for this one i'm going to go to this fuse box right here and go into that right there and then after that we're gonna go ahead and power up that abs and see what happens so let's go to this and let's see what we get all right so we have this right here and we have our scan tool still hooked up so we're gonna go ahead and power up our connector right here because we're back probed in there <laughs> okay i heard this make a little noise abs module made a noise i heard a dinging inside let's see if we can recreate this all right you heard that inside <laughs> all right cool let's see what we can now so if we can talk now look at that see if we have codes bam look at that <laughs> heck yeah I just want to look at data and then we're just going to disconnect this. See if we uh, lose communication when we disconnect this. All right, location because our power is off. Hopefully we can figure this out. We're getting closer. Now we can talk to the module. Now this is going to becoming a lot better. All right, let's see what we find out on that. All right, as we can see right here, we did check out our BCM. We did have uh, 12 volts right here at our data enable, but it didn't make it all the way down to our EBCM right here. So now the question is, what is between here? And if we go through this, we see a X101. The cool thing about Mitchell right here, we can click on this. After that, we can see where our location is at for this X101. So if we look right here, this is our X101. This is our chassis harness routing. So this is pointing to the front of the vehicle and if we can look right here our x101 is right in the front looks like it's kind of in the engine compartment man i kind of remember this <laughs> through a keep the fazio video how about right now we go to the front of the vehicle and we check this out i think i know where this one's at let's go to the front of the vehicle i think this is going to be an interesting one so the connector that we're seeing right here and luckily like i said using that repair link really helped out a lot the connector that we have here showing us somewhere right here and this is bringing me back to video 
that Mr. Keith DeFazio put out. So from uh, Next Level Auto, he put out a video. I remember watching it a long time ago, so I had to go back and, and, and remember this. He had an issue with the ABS module, but it was with the accelerometer uh, sensor that's inside the vehicle. And he would touch that and it was making contact with the frame on the bottom. Let's go see. And the connector's right there. This is the connector. The blue wire right there. Yeah, there's our blue wire. On his video, it was actually messed up on that side. So let's see if we have the same thing on this one. And we can thank Keith for all this. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Check this out deemed unfixable not today it's not gonna happen look at this so there's our blue wire right here cool let's do a quick repair on this and then after that we're gonna see what's going on but this is can communication wires right here in the bottom too these brown uh, tan ones right here do, are these damaged as well i like to tug and verify it looks like they've been they've been barely touched this is gonna be our problem man this is crazy this was sometimes you know some stuff on youtube is really informative so let's fix this up right here and let's see what we find out all right check that out we have our repair done so let's go inside and let's look at the scan tool and see what we get all right this is the moment we've been waiting for so let's do a smart scan all right we see that we have some codes right there but this is going to be the moment there you go look at that that is amazing and then after this i just want to clear all the codes make sure that none of them come back we don't have any u codes and then we should be a-okay this is amazing all right let's uh clear dtcs so we cleared up the code and we are all green now as you can see right here there you go this is going to be the total fix right here and this unfixable vehicle is finally fixed so if you do like this video please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get our brand new videos coming out from miles mechanics y'all take care y'all have a nice day